Before I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2015, at that time, living life to the fullest, for me, it meant having a good career, getting married, traveling all around the world, and having a fancy things. There's nothing wrong with any of those things. But chasing after them will not lead me to a full life. I learned that life is not always green pastures and quiet, peaceful scenes. Scene has caused a traumatic disruption to the life that God originally planned for us. But Jesus know all about the scene and evil of this life he warns us that we will suffer but he has sent the comforter his holy spirit to help us through the darkness i am so grateful and so blessed that we will spend my birthday weekend here in Santander and surely we're going to explore the southern part of Cebu. We only get one life and it is of the utmost importance that we maximize it. Over the last couple of years, I learned that to live the abundant life Jesus wants for us, our best life, we need this to know the three things. First, we need to know our Creator. In John 17, 3, and this is eternal life, and they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. The most important things you need to have in life is the knowledge of our Creator. Our Creator is the Trion, God, Father, and Son, and the person of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit you need to know God intimately and how his character and be in a close relationship with him Before I became a real Christian, I only knew of God and I didn't have a relationship with Him. But my life changed when I committed to reading the Bible and praying daily. I formed a relationship with Jesus, learned who He was, and learned to love Him. And I can say without a shred of doubt that my life has been fuller and better since then. <laughs> G 
Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can have a full and abundant life outside of Him. Forget what the world says. Your best life doesn't start with a career, marriage, fancy cars, and so many things. Your best life begins when you know your Creator, Jesus. The second thing to live life to the fullest is we need to know how we were created. In Psalm 139, 13 to 14, For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. God created each one of us uniquely with different set of gifts, talents, and abilities. Not only do we need to know and understand how God created us, but we must also embrace it. The last thing that we need to know is why God created us. In Ephesians 2, 10, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. No one is an accident or a mistake. God intentionally created each one of us and like everything else in creation we were designed for a purpose a lot of people go through life without knowing why god created them and not doing what god made them for and that is tragedy god created us to glorify him to know him love him enjoy him and have fellowship with him and to produce good works i learned these three things when i started to follow jesus as my lord and savior and have an intimate relationship with him it has changed me and put me on a path to living a better and more fulfilling life. When I know who God is, I can follow Him instead of idols that will only lead me to death. Understanding how God created makes me unshakable when circumstances, people, or the enemy try to dictate who I am. Knowing my purpose, I won't chase after worldly things that will never fulfill me. Instead, I will do what I was created for and make my life meaningful. Brethren, my prayer for you is also to know these three things and live your life to the full. The life that God planned for you 
before you were even born. Grace and peace to you all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy my video and see you on my next vlog.